In this video, we will introduce Pivisist CLI, a powerful command line tool designed to streamline and automate core functionalities in Pivisist. By reducing reliance on the graphical user interface, Pivisist CLI simplifies and optimizes the simulation process. This tool seamlessly integrates Pivisist into your existing workflows, enhancing efficiency and flexibility. Pivisist CLI offers two main features automating Pivisit simulations and converting weather data. Designed for Windows systems, whether standalone or server-based, it enables you to perform these tasks via a simple command line interface. Commands can be generated programmatically, allowing interaction and integration with other existing tools. Let's see in detail how Pivisit CLI works and how to use it. Pivisys TLI comes pre-installed with Pivisys 8, with the executable accessible in the Pivisys installation folder. The trial version allows you to run 250 simulations over a period of 60 days. Use of the tool beyond this evaluation version requires an annual Pivisys TLI subscription. To open a Windows command prompt from the current folder in order to use Pivisys TLI, type cmd in the folder path bar and press enter. For easier access in future executions, the Pivisys CLI installation folder is automatically added to the computer path environment variable, making it accessible from any command window. You can now start using the tool by executing the various commands. To see a complete list of available commands, type Pivisys CLI space help. This will display all the commands supported by the tool. For detailed information about a specific command, use Pivisys CLI help and the name of the command. This will provide a description of the command along with the list of options. Comprehensive explanation and practical use cases for these commands are available in the Pivisys CLI online documentation at www.pivisys.com slash help dash CLI. Run a simulation. One of the key features of Pivisys CLI is the ability to run Pivisys simulation programmatically, eliminating the need for interaction with the graphical user interface. This functionality is executed using the Pivisys CLI run simulation command. When invoked, this command performs a Pivisys simulation giving existing definitions files and generates the corresponding output report and results. The Pivisys CLI simulation is fully equivalent to running a Pivisys simulation from the project window. The run simulation command will run in the context of a given workspace and on a pre-existing project. This means that it is necessary to prepare in the desired workspace all necessary files. For this, an initial setup can be established through Pivisys interface in order to configure it a valid project and variant. Mandatory parameters for run simulations are the full path to your Pivisys user workspace containing the project to simulate, the name of the project to simulate, the name of the variant to simulate. Let's run a simple first simulation by only specifying these mandatory parameters. We enter pvsyst CLI run simulation and then add the mandatory parameters separated by a space, starting with the double dash, the name of the parameter and a colon, followed by the parameter value in quotes. This command will execute the simulation for the variant VC0 of the Geneva project, located in the workspace at the root of disk C. An output CSV file containing results of the simulation will be generated in the workspace folder. Note that the weather file used is the one configured for the project and therefore also available in the specified workspace. One of the key advantages of PVSYS CLI is the ability to swap such files without interacting with the user's interface. This will allow you to quickly run multiple simulations of the same project with different weather files for comparison and analysis purposes. Let's run the previous simulation with a specific weather data file. Now, the simulation uses the specified MET file and may give different results. Using any program language, a common use case would be iterating over all MET files in a specified directory, then constructing and executing the corresponding command line with PVSYST CLI. In this example, we use the Python programming language to generate and execute the same simulation multiple times each time using a different weather file, and save the results as separate PDF reports. To archive this, we use the additional dash RPF option, which specifies the path for the generated PDF reports file for each simulation. Note that this option is in short form and therefore necessitates just a single dash. 
With the run simulation command, it is also possible to specify other inputs parameter by using RVT, SFI and advanced parameters files. The full list of options for the run simulation command is available by running the command pvsystcli space help space run simulation. Weather data conversion. The second feature of pvsystcli is the weather data conversion. The instruction convert meteo will convert CSV weather data into MET files, usable in pvsyst or pvsystcli simulations. In PVSYST, the equivalent operation is a custom file import. The most common use case for this functionality is importing a set of files from a third-party service or your own measurements to be used in PVSYST simulations. To view the parameters for the convert meteo command, type PVSYST CLI help convert meteo. These are the mandatory parameters for the convert meteo command. The full path to the CSV file to be converted. The full path for the MEF file required for the conversion. This file contains the format description of the source file. The full path to the SIT file required for the conversion. The full path to the output MET file to be generated. A detailed explanation of these files is available in the PVSYST and PVSYST CLI online help. Let's run a weather data conversion command in PVSYST CLI. This command converts the input geneva underscore pvsyst underscore std underscore ghi dot csv file into a standard pvsyst met file named generated with cli dot met. Using the SIT file geneva underscore manual underscore mn82 dot sit and the weather data format file convert with cli.mef. Another use case of the convert meteo command is the pseudo sub hourly simulation preparation. Sub hourly simulation can be approximated with the pseudo sub hourly simulation procedure. This consists in splitting data based on the minute timestamps and running the simulation separately for each group. Detailed explanation and ready made examples for this use case are available on the PVC's CLI help page. Moreover, from the PVSYST interface, you can generate templates and examples with your workspace. To do so, enter the workspace management window and click on Reload Templates. A CLI folder will then be added to your workspace, containing several examples. PVSYST CLI is a game changer, streamlining PVSYST simulation and weather data conversion with automation and flexibility. It saves time, enhances efficiency, and integrates seamlessly into workflows. Start using PVSYST CLI today to take your solo project to the next level. Thank you for watching.